Good evening, everybody. I'm meteorologist Edward Shaw. We are still under a weather alert day. We are looking at a severe thunderstorm warning currently up in Highland County. There have been reports of wind gusts that could be approaching 60 miles per hour and potentially quarter size hail. So if you are in that area or further up into the northeast, just be sure that you're being aware of that. We do have scattered showers and storms all across parts of West Virginia and into the northern parts of our viewing area for the most part. So we do need to look, keep watch for those alerts as we head throughout the day. Now, looking across at our sky cams, Blacksburg's clearing up just a little bit compared to what we saw earlier. Martinsville's look really nice. Roanoke is even clearing up just a little bit. We did have some showers and storms come through the area earlier. We actually heard them here at the station. We heard a lot of thunder, a lot of heavy rain, which all of that is very much needed. I'll get to that in a second. Rain chances throughout the night, we do we do spike at about 8 p.m., 50% chance of rain, and we could see some scattered showers here as well later on. Now, this is why any rain we get is going to be beneficial. We have been under a drought. It's just how severe of a drought. In our entire viewing area has been at least pretty dry, but some of us have seen, especially in Lexington, Bedford, Roanoke, has been under a moderate drought, level two out of five, which means a lot of grass starting to die. So if you've noticed your lawns getting brown out in those areas, this is definitely going to be beneficial with all this rain. Let's time everything out for you with future cast. About 6 p.m., we can see storms start to come into this area as well, well as that cold front. And then we really start to see a lot more widespread showers and storms as we get down to the 11 p.m., 12 a.m. hour, especially at further north up in Covington, Hot Springs, Lexington. So really, it's going to be a northern system for our viewing area. And then it exits by early morning tomorrow. We could see a few lingering showers and storms storms here and there, just especially in the New River Valley. And we're going to start out mostly cloudy tomorrow, which is going to cool things down quite a bit. So if you do have any outdoor plans tomorrow, it's going to feel a lot better than it did today with our record heat. Indeed, we did set a record for heat in Lynchburg. Lynchburg hit 99 today, beating the previous record of 98, which was set way back in the 1900s. And for the most part, we have cooled down quite a bit. You can see signs of that cold front passing through the area with temperatures in the 80s, even 79 in Roanoke. We have cooled down quite a bit here in the last few hours just from that cold front making its way through. With your three-day forecast, though, we did max out about 97 today. For areas further to the east and south, got even warmer. I believe South Boston got up to 100 at one point. Tomorrow, morning showers and storms. We cool down to about 89. That's Pretty nice temperature drop. I'll take that any day of the week. And then as we head into the weekend, 90s, maybe a few more showers and storms possibly. And then Monday, Tuesday, we get even cooler, 89, 88. It's just going to be a really nice weekend with a few showers and storms here and there. But ultimately, now that we've kind of gotten through the most of the storms for tonight, we're going to see a few more pop up here and there around the 11 p.m. hour. So just be aware still based on the fact that a lot of these storms are going to be forming after the sun goes down. So you want to be aware, have some way to receive alerts, whether it's a radio, what is a weather radio or even our app, just to be sure you're staying safe throughout the night.